Hi, in this video lecture, let's discuss about the analysis of sequential circuit which uses D flip law. Okay, as we know that in an analysis process, the input is a circuit diagram. And this circuit diagram has memory components, therefore it is analysis of sequential circuit. And the output of the analysis process is the function of the circuit. Mm -hmm. what, what is the output that we observe with the input x? The relation between x and the output y, a and b should be given us the result of the analysis. So let us try to compute what is the input to this flip-flop first. So since there are two flip-flops, we will differentiate the flip-flop using the state that we observe here. Okay, The output of this flip-flop is A. So we write as dA as the input equation for the flip-flop A. And we will be writing A of t plus 1 as the output of this flip-flop. And similarly here B of t plus 1 will be the output of this flip-flop. And the input equation for this flip-flop will be dB. So what is the input? We have x here. And this line comes from A. So this is A at time t. So A of t or simply a. We can either use a, a of t or simply a. But we should differentiate that this is at time t and this is at time t plus 1. So we will be writing a of time t plus 1 in terms of a. So when we simply represent a, it is understood that it is the output at time t. And this x comes here. And this line comes from B. So this is B. So this is AX. And this is BX. And what we get here is AX or BX. Is the input for this D flip law. So the input equation is AX plus BX. And we know that since this is a D flip-flop, whatever we have as input, that is what will appear as output. So we can write it directly as AX plus BX as the characteristic equation of this flip-flop A. And here we have X and this line comes from A bar. So what we have here is a bar x. So b of t plus 1 is going to be a bar x and the input equation is also a bar x. And what is the output? This line is b, this line is a. So the output of the R gate is a or b. And this is x and this is going to be x bar and the output here will be a or b and with x bar. So this is the output. So using the output equation of the flip law that is a of t plus 1, b of t plus 1 and y and using the input we can compute something called the state table or the transition table. So the present state and the input both together is going to decide the value of next state. So we can write there are two flip-flops. So we have flip-flop A and B and the input is X. So this is represented here. A, B is the present state, X. We are going to have all combinations of the uh, binary pattern for 3 bits from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1 for present state and input. And using the 
output equation for flip flop A and B, we can compute the value for the next state. For example, A of t plus 1, we have computed as Ax plus Bx. So we can substitute the value of A, X and B in this expression and compute the value of next state for the flip flop A. Say for example, for this combination A is 0, X is 1, therefore this term is 0 together. Similarly, B is 0, X is 1 and B, X will be 0. 0 or 0 is going to be 0. That's why we have 0 here. And for this combination, A, X is 0, but B, X is 1. So we have 0 or 1, which is 1. That is why we have 1 for the value of A in the next state. And similarly, we can compute B of t plus 1, that is the column for the next state for B using the output equation of B, which is A bar X. So, whenever A is 0, A bar will be 1. And whenever we have 1 here, we will have a corresponding 1. Every other value will be 0 here. And y, the output y is a or b x bar. So we have a or b and with x bar. So either a or b should be 1. So for this input, this input and all these inputs, either a or b is 1. For all these inputs starting from here to here. Uh, a or B will be 1 and whenever X is 0, the corresponding output will be 1. So, X is uh, 0 here, 0 here, 0 here. So, we will have Y to be 1 for those combinations of inputs. So, this will represent the state table or the transition table. And the same information that we have here in this table can be represented here as well. Represented like what we have here in this table. The number of states in this problem is 4. 0, 0 is one state. 0, 1 is another state. 1, 0 is another state. 1, 1 is the last state. And the next state Upon the input x, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 is given here. And similarly, what is the output when the input is 0 and when the input is y. So for 0, 0 when the input is 0. For the 0, 0 when the, the state 0, 0 when the input is 0 we go to 0, state 0, 0 which is represented here and when the input is 1 we go to 0 1 and that is represented here and the corresponding output okay when we start from 0 0 from the state 0 0 irrespective of the input we get the output to be 0 and 0 okay similarly we can write for 1 0 0 1 and 1 1 for 1 0 when the input is 0, we go to 0, 0 and uh, for the input 1, we go to 1, 0. So, we have 0, 0 and 1, 0 for the respective input. Similarly, the output is going to be 1 and 0. So, we have 1 and 0 here. The same information can be represented in this fashion as well. This is the state diagram which represents this one. From the state 0, 0, if we accept the input 0, we go to the next state which is 0, 0. So, we from 0, 0, we start and go back to 0, 0 upon the input 0 and we output y as 0. That is why we have a self loop 
from 0 0 we transit back to 0 0 upon the input 0 which is represented by this 0 before the slash and the output y is 0 and that is represented after the slash from 0 0 if we get 1 as input we will transit to the state 0 1 so how many different states are there a b together as 0 0 is one state 0 1 is another state 1 0 is another state 1 1 is another state so from 0 0 if we get 1 we go to 0 1 from 0 0 if we get a 1 we go to 0 1 that is indicated by this uh, edge from 0 0 to 0 1 this is the transition and the output is 0 and from 0 1 if it is 0 0 we go back to 0 from 0 1 we go to the state 0 0 so from 0 1 if we get 0 as input we go back to uh, 0 0 here and the output is 1 ok so similarly we can draw the rest of the edges and this is called a transition diagram or the state diagram and this will form the basis for the finite state measurements because we have finite number of states this can be considered as a machine and the operation of the machine is when we get a input we have movement from one state to the other and we output something as well so this can be considered as a finite state machine so this is what is giving the uh, functioning of the circuit this machine okay if we start from we can assume that we can start from any state and uh, as soon as we receive some input we go to next state based on the input and output something based on the input.